This is my impression of a lot of the beauty commercials. Ready? Hey, insider, splash water onto your face. It doesn't get on the sink. She's got glowy skin. And then they punch breakouts out of the frame. And then you're just like, yeah, totally. And then you wake up the next day a little sad. <laughs> I've always been super curious about these alternative skincare regimens, alternative health regimens. So this month, I am making my own skincare products. I'm bringing in expert Tina Hedges. Tina is the CEO and founder of Lolly Beauty. I think you need three products, not 15, and they shouldn't take away what your skin or hair really needs. They should just amplify what you already have. I'm not doing this because I need my name or my picture on a product. I'm doing it because I really believe the beauty industry needs to be stirred up and we need to make a clean and conscious change. It's also come to my attention that a lot of the products that we know and love are completely unsustainable. The way that they're made and manufactured and packaged and marketed is just not good for the environment. You are a, like a New York CEO business woman and I have a 2001 Toyota Corolla. I love it. I don't even have a car. Like, <laughs> at least you have a car. We're here and shopping with Tina is literally blowing my baby mind. Because I'm picking up these products being like, oh, I like this one. And she's like, it's water. <laughs> All these products that are sitting on these shelves are products that are made with 80 to 95% water and then over packaged in plastic. So this is our, our haul for our DIY. Just modeling it on our Toyota Corolla. When Devin first came to me and said she wanted to do this, I was like, well, how complicated do you want to make this? Yeah, this is the Rose Hydrosol. Where's the dead fly? <laughs> Y'all, let me just tell you a quick story about me and chemistry. I'm obsessed with skincare, but I also recognize that, you know, if someone was like, that's an emollient. <laughs> Mm-hmm, emollient. That sounds like a delicious aperitif. So if you want to make your own beauty products at home, like, don't get too fancy right away. Start simple. Simple doesn't mean it's not effective. So for example, we can make a serum. That's just like blending a couple different oils together. Well, one of our elixirs is actually oils like safflower, hibiscus, plum, pomegranate, all with high linoleic acid content. It will not break you out. On the contrary, it'll help your skin actually be clear. Hi, Tina. Hey, Devin. It's good to see you. Welcome to our hippie kitchen. I love your hippie kitchen. Thank you. I've made myself right at home. What are you stirring? I got started without you a little bit, okay. so I, I just get so excited. <laughs> so, since we want to make one oil serum as an infusion, and that takes a little bit of time, what an infusion means is you can take an oil like sunflower is good, or olive if you're a little bit on the drier side. Mm -hmm. And just like you do in cooking, where you infuse spices in it in a mason jar, I actually brought an empty one. Mm -hmm. And you can do it in a small quart or a larger one like this. So you take your oil, you pour it into your glass container, uh -huh. and then you add in your roots, your botanicals, your herbs, your flowers. Like we could add in, you know, if we wanted some rose petals right now, mm -hmm. and that's really good for anti-aging. The madder root and alkanet root are both good for they're old, ancient Ayurvedic herbs that are good for like blemishes, breakout, sensitivity, any kind of issue you have from even like things like psoriasis and eczema and stuff like that. Okay, ready? Watching you work is like watching witchcraft and I'm here for it. So this is our chamomile lavender micellar and that one product does three things. It takes off your makeup, cleanses, tones, and hydrates. Actually, that's four. You can use a bottle. You don't have to go buy fancy packaging in the beauty store or craft store. Hot sauce bottle, mm -hmm. okay? Washed out. Washed out, dishwasher, sterilized. Okay, my hair. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Tina, welcome to Ladylike. This is a part of it. So what is a micellar? Basically, it's mixing oil and water together in very tiny proportions. Usually they use a synthetic to make that bind together, and then that acts as a sort of moisturizing makeup remover. At Lolly, since we don't do anything that is synthetic, what we do is we let those two phases, oil and water, sit you know, above each other. And then you just shake. It works exactly the same as that other brand you're probably buying and is way more powerful. And I put pretty much equal parts mm -hmm. of the witch hazel and the distillate. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put about one ounce. And I have a little funnel that I also rinsed with alcohol. I brought you, because this is hard to find, this is the chamomile hydrosol. Oh, it smells nice. It's just like great. If you can't find the chamomile, you can find 
fine rose water mm -hmm. or lavender water. About equal parts, mm -hmm. but then I'm gonna put in the glycerin. So the glycerin is the humectant, and see the texture? It's the sticky texture. It's kind texture. of a little bit of a jelly texture, and that's the humectant. Look at it mix. Right? Wow. And then I'm gonna put in a little bit more of the hydrosol. Okay, you're gonna shake this up before we do the next phase. Gladly. Shake, shake, shake. shake. Now we're gonna do the mixture of the oil phase. Uh-huh. So we're gonna start with... Sunflower oil. We could do sunflower or we could do sweet almond. What do you prefer? Are you more combination oily or normal to dry? Mm, I feel like in the summer I'm more combination oily. Okay, so then let's do sunflower. Okay. okay. And we're gonna mix it with the jojoba. Now the jojoba is super interesting because jojoba, do you wanna pour? Yes, I do. Um, I oh, so do. Yeah, I know, I, I could see. That is so satisfying. Right, so jojoba, which we're gonna use, is actually not an oil, it's a wax. It's an amazing ingredient, and that gives it that beautiful color. That yellow. And we're overfilling. You're gonna... Shake it up. Shake it up again. Look at okay. the beautiful colors. Look at this, you guys, it is a lava lamp. So shake, 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 so you get the oil phase mixed. There you go. Wow. And then that's like ready to use. Keep in a cool, dry place. I want to make sure that I also hydrate and right. keep my face moisturized. Right. So I kind of want to make this balm that you have here. Yep. And then the third product we're going to make is that miracle balm because everyone needs a miracle balm in their cabinet. So you can use it from head to toe, lips, use it to take off waterproof makeup, which Devin sometimes has to wear on set. All of that is super easy, doable, and ingredients you can find in your local grocery store. We're going to use olive oil. We're going to use some avocado, some hemp. Since we didn't have any sunflower seed wax. What I did is we got the cocoa butter, which is amazing. And this is actually like totally edible. This is what you make chocolate with. It straight up smells like chocolate, you yeah. guys. I actually want to eat some. You could do two things at once. You could make your bomb and like eat some make, chocolate. And make some dessert. So we went ahead and we double boiled this. Smell the cocoa. Oh my gosh. Yep. First we're going to add in some hemp. This should be about one quarter cup. And then you want to do about the equivalent of another quarter cup of your oils. Then your avocado. And then there's the olive oil. And then we're gonna add in some frankincense because I'm a bougie girl. So you wanna do about three to five drops. So then once you're done with this and you've mixed it, right, so you could either pour it directly into your container like our Lolly Weasible yogurt jars. <laughs> These are yogurt jars? Yeah. Oh my They're God. They're food grade, so you can, again, sterilize them before you use them. This is crazy. So I'm literally just taking my makeup off with oil, putting on my moisturizer, which is an oil, and then we're gonna be making one last thing, the, the serum. 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 Get the flaxseed. The flaxseed. And I'm gonna tell you. Check. I don't know why I smelled that. I'm gonna tell you where to pour to. Keep going, a little more. Okay, great. Camellia seed, what is that? It's actually from a flower of the green tea plant. Oh, shoot. Yeah. And I know green tea. pour till the top, almost the top. You Leave got a little room, because we're gonna put some essential oil. You got it, sister. This is a serum, if I wear it during the day. You wanna use sunscreen. Right. Five drops of the pink grapefruit, five drops of the sweet orange. Uh, 10 drops ten. of sweet orange. Mm. All right, I messed up the recipe already. Five drops of the sweet orange. Uh, 10 drops ten. of the sweet orange. These are my products for the month. Wow. So it's countdown time for Devin. I'm gonna, a nervous burp. You guys, sometimes I nervous burp. Not only am I throwing away my products, but I'm also throwing away my habits. Cause I'm used to, you know, going home, taking my makeup off with an oil, then washing my face. No, I'm not doing any of that anymore. I'm completely starting over. Refresh the page. Error, 404 code, not working. This is an upheaval. Let it be known that if you have problem skin and you don't feel comfortable changing up your skincare routine, bitch, keep it the same. Don't fix it if it's not broke. But if you wanna try something that's a little bit more alternative and like hippy dippy, I highly recommend this Saturday night, about to take my makeup off. <laughs> Time to take my makeup off with all of my homemade products. First day, I guess this is working, but then again, you know, like I don't think I would break out immediately if these oils were really affecting my skin. I can't really tell much from the first day, but I'm just happy I didn't wake up with like a billion pimples. I can tell you I used my balm, I used my micellar water and this serum. I just essentially came home and covered my face in oil and hopped into bed. Dee -dee. Looks pretty good. Monday morning, week two. So I guess this would be 10 days since I started my new skincare routine. And I think my skin looks pretty clear. Yeah, 
I'm not mad at it. The first two weeks of this try, I did break out. I got a pimple here and like a pimple there. I was like, uh-oh, this is not gonna work for me. Maybe I'm not meant to do this. Maybe this is straight up putting oil on my face. These pimples right here on my cheek are really stubborn. I'm just noticing a difference on how pimples are lasting on my skin since starting my new skincare regime. And also just in general, I just woke up. This is my complexion. It is looking very good. And then those pimples reacted differently, which told me that this was a game changer. So when I get a pimple, it'll like pop or come to a head and then it'll turn into this like dry scab that eventually turns into like a little bit of a dry crater. I've noticed that I've gotten a lot of feedback that my skin looks cleaner, which seems so crazy to me because I'm literally putting oil on top of oil on top of oil. This skincare routine changed the shelf life of my pimples, and I think that's notable. Halfway through this challenge, I actually went away for two and a half weeks. I went to Namibia. Look at all these chickens. It is so dry there. Living in Southern California, I thought I knew dry heat and like dry climates. Whew! Namibia is going through an incredibly terrible drought right now, which is affecting all of the agriculture, all of, you know, just even the cities. It's, it's pretty drastic and how we really should be conserving that water, how I should really be thinking about conserving that water, not trying to make a comment or be preachy at all. I'm just figuring this out myself. This has been kind of a mind-blowing experience for me. I'm not even sure I'm doing it right, but it really has been an eye-opening experience for your girl, and that's a true true. Not only did I go to a different climate and change things up for my skin, I went to an extreme version of a climate. I went to like the driest place I've ever been, and my skin, stayed pretty, she was chill. I'm pretty much like all out. This is the cleansing situation, which was like the witch hazel and the chamomile oil mixed together. And this is what I use to cleanse my face, which means today I have to make more. The most challenging part, believe it or not, and this is gonna sound crazy, was sanitizing the bottles. Gotta wash this bottle, gotta wash it right now. I should probably put this in the dishwasher, shouldn't I? Well, I think I'm gonna wash it first with hot water and Dawn because I'm extra and then put it in the dishwasher. How do you know if something is perfectly sanitized, right? So I pulled this puppy, this puppy right here out of the dishwasher. I washed it here, I put it in the dishwasher and then um, the, I guess the dryer setting on my dishwasher isn't working as well as I thought it was. So then you think, what if I just throw it in the microwave for 10 seconds? On the fourth second, it looked like my microwave was about to explode. I'm still shaking. I did that and almost burned down my house. And that's why I'm holding it with rubber tongs, because what if I electrocuted this glass? Mixing the things made me feel witchy. Look at my cute little tasty table. Look at this cute little top-down situation. Halfway through this try, I was doubting myself, and then it started working, and now I'm like Your girl, she did it. Ugh, it works. I was very cynical about it the whole way through, and now I think I have to make my own skincare products because I really like the way my skin looks right now. A lot of people don't like hippie shit. And I will say, if you do have an opinion about switching up your skincare routine in favor for something that might be a little bit more eco-friendly, I ask that you reflect it respectfully down below. Because honestly, here's the thing. I do these investigative tries so you don't have to. So you don't have to spend months and weeks of your life and money to try something that may or may not work. Because when I go into this I don't know if it's gonna be cute or not. Lazy out. Bye. I feel like a Pokemon evolves. I'm Dev now. Soon I'm gonna be Devin Divine, and I'm gonna only wear scarves. Like in my final evolution. Okay. <laughs>